On News 18, sports from where you live. It's that time of the week again, folks. It's finally time for our Friday Night Frenzy. I'm your host, Bree Shackleford, so thank you so much for joining us. We have a total of eight games for you on our lineup tonight, so let's skip the pleasantries and get straight into the action, shall we? Up first, Sports 18's Kelly Hallinan has all the highlights from our game of the week. Kelly, how was the sword game? It's Friday night, which means high school football, but tonight it's not just any other game. It's the sword game, a rivalry between Harrison and McCutcheon that has been going on since 1976. Let's see who wins that sword tonight for our game of the week. Raiders are ready to go, running out with the sword to start the game. Can they hold on to it for another year? Marion Dixon was in the house as well for the matchup. First quarter, it was all McCutcheon defense. Mavs forced two fumbles and didn't give up any Harrison touchdowns. Here's Mavs QB Owen Smith finding Cam Little, who had a nice catch right there, but McCutcheon would not end up scoring a touchdown. Harrison's Ben Henderson takes charge. Here he sees Carter McDonald and throws a bomb. McDonald secures the catch, and on the very next play, Henderson runs it in himself to put the Raiders on the board. This was the Raiders' first of many. Henderson could not be stopped, and the Raiders win the sword game 38-3. to When I looked to my left and saw O oh, here, it kind of like gave me a sense of, he's back. He's back and he's here. Let's get our mentality going. Let's get that Omarion mentality going, and let's get this win. He knows how much I love him. Uh, he's taught me so much, and those runs were, were just him and how much he's taught me. The kids were really excited. Um, obviously, when you get to play a rivalry game, it's, it's awesome. And the experience, this, the student section, they were awesome today. Uh, we came out and started pretty slow. The second half, we came out and just, uh, played much more physical and much better football. The sword will stay with the Raiders after a dominant 38-3 performance. Reporting for Game of the Week, Kelly Hallinan, Sports 18. Kelly and great job as always. Finally at home again, we have the Lafayette Jeff Broncos. They played host to Richmond, who was looking for their first win of the year. But spoiler alert, they wouldn't get it because the Broncos would be doing exactly this all night long. Bullseye passes from Key and Crowder would find the hands of DJ Young for the first touchdown of the night. But hold on to your horses here, folks, because Jeff is just getting started. And let me tell you, don't blink for this play right here or you'll miss Asik Open flying right by you. He has the space. He easily takes this one to the house. But come on, let's just have one more tutty before we end the highlight. And this one will come from junior Riley Perkins, who shoots right past me and into the end zone. That's three touchdowns in just six minutes of play. And what a way to end homecoming than by blowing out your opponent out of the water. Am I right? Final score, Jeff wins 80-0 to zero with an astounding victory. Well, moving on down south now, we have the Frontier Falcons versus the Clinton Central Bulldogs. Falcons are looking to etch another win into the season, and they hope to fly away with this game. Frontier on the attack here, and QB Wyatt Reedy tries to make a clean sweep through center, but gets stopped by Bulldog Hayden Pratt. Later on, it's Bulldogs on the attack, and Creed Menon has time to launch one and find his guy Pratt all the way down the field, but that will be as close as to the end zone as they get. But to say Clinton Central kept this game close is an understatement. I mean, look at that defensive play coming from Pratt. He was balling out all night long on both sides of the ball, but sadly it wouldn't be enough for the Bulldogs and the Falcons would fly away with a close win. Final score, Frontier wins 6-0. And a little up north, Tri-County was battling it out with the North White Vikings, and you could tell it was a battle from the final score alone. Let's take a look at the Vikings on offense and a very quick handoff from Cade DeBroat would have CJ Hunt finding the gap, getting through, stiff arming a guy, and finally being taken down right in the end zone. Northwise is now up 7-0. But Tri-County isn't going down without a fight tonight, and this QB scramble from Cody Baller would prove just that. He gets the first down and then some before being taken down out of bounds. But Northwide's defense would seem to be too much to handle as Ballard decides to throw one up there and Viking Liam Sabaikaris snags the ball, one of many interceptions tonight. Final score, Vikings sail away with tonight's win 7-0. And from blowout games to close games, we seem to have them all here for you tonight. But we aren't quite done here just yet. After this halftime, we have four more games on the other side. Good, you'll get to see all the action from LCC and West Lafayette, Sheridan versus Delphi, and more. 